Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I pulled the cards for all 12 signs last night. It was actually 1101 when I did the read. And so I wanted to get this out for you, um, some, a little bit of the energy for each sign. So you have the 12 signs out there, starting with Aries through Pisces, the Magician is Aries, and then the four cards at the top are the underlying energies. And they were the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and then the Chariot up top there. Um, and I'm really getting that, that uh, underlying energy as uh, one person as finding satisfaction on their own, being offered this new passion by having time alone by someone else standing up to others and boldly moving forward. So one happy alone and another fending off others in order to get ahead. And it really looks like a bodyguard, you know, like making sure all the other people stay away from someone, um, even driving them places so that people won't bother them so that they can actually have time to maybe um, feel into their energies and get passionate about something, maybe get their sexual energies back, you know, some time alone, not stressed out. Um, Aries there, so we have the Magician here for Aries, so it's Aries, um, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, and so then you end up having the fire signs down vertically, so it's um, Leo here and then um, Sagittarius here and so on. The second column is Earth, Air, and then Water, okay? And then I have a couple final cards too. I'm gonna to give you some clarifiers for each sign. So for Aries, um, I did clarify them last night, but I picked them up because I wanted to clarify them in front of you for today, but I'll give you those that information as well. So for Aries and the Magician, uh, maybe sending everyone away. So that could very much be that energy of that uh, Nine of Cups guy, you know, wanting some time to themselves. But I'm getting Aries sending everyone away, the all-powerful Oz sitting behind the curtain above victim mentality of the little people. So there may be a little bit of arrogance there as well. But their magic may not be working due to deception or overworking all hours of the morning. And this may be why somebody's keeping other people away from them. Um, for Taurus and the Five of Pentacles there, there's the Five of Pentacles. Um, the Taurus may feel abandoned or kicked out in the cold and maybe heading to justice or to a Libra for help, but finding peace, but they actually are finding peace in being the victim, which is the issue. Um, it actually could be a mother and student or a mother and child together. Um, it doesn't have to be mother and child, but I'm definitely getting that energy from, uh, from the card. Um, also, maybe a legacy fell apart, so a family legacy. Um, they may have lost all their money in the aftermath of a tower event, so a sudden event or disaster or an epiphany, may have just left on their own as well. But they're definitely seeking justice here. Um, Gemini, let's get them clarified before we go on. So the for the Aries, let's see what comes up now for the Aries. What's up for the Aries? Today is June 13, 2019. What's up for the Aries? All right, so we have uh, three cards popped up. We have the Emperor Reverse, the Fool Reverse, and then Two of Cups, okay? So that could be two separate people coming together as the Two of Cups, but they're both reversed. One's lacking faith and one is out of control, okay? Or it could be the out of control Emperor as the Aries um, throwing other people out on their face, basically. And those are the two people but saying that they're seeing eye to eye, maybe they're in agreement that they shouldn't be, they shouldn't work together or be together anymore. Let's see what Taurus comes up with. Taurus next to them, and I try to intermingle the cards as well to tell you how they're relating to each other. So, with the Taurus being the abandoned or kick, or the one that's kicked out or or decided to leave on their own, even though they left with nothing. Uh, let's see what Taurus has for today, this June thirteenth, two thousand nineteen. What's up for Taurus? Okay, Taurus, we have the Empress and the Four of Pentacles. So holding on to what she has, but she's good. She's upright. So she's a, it's, she feels like she's in the right, or at least she believes she's in the right because the Emperor is out of control. He could be pissed. She may, just, she may be arrogant as well. She may feel justified and she may not be justified. But she's not in a good place, so I don't think she put herself in a, in a negative place. And... Um, be this upright about it 
she is holding on, but it's not like the Scrooge Four of Pentacles. She's holding on more loosely. I mean, she may have, it might be a mother and daughter, but an older mother and daughter, because I have the Queen of Pentacles and the Death card coming out with it as well. All right, so these two want to come out as well. And they're both upright. So it could be a mother and daughter out in the cold, but okay with that. They have some savings, and they just want to end this for good with this Emperor reversed, okay? So we have, um, then we go on to Gemini, which is Justice. Okay, so we have Justice here. And for Gemini, I had um, um, coming up as judge and jury, the Gemini, an elitist perhaps, sitting with the devil or Capricorn, controlling those in need of something. So they, they're, it could be political powers. Um, um, there's positive and negative here. Um, someone coming up as they feel like they're cultured and above the, you know, the lower people, the lower energies, above the beast or the 3D energies, the poor the uneducated, the loud, the physical. So that very 3D mentality. Um, the Gemini feels like these other people are unintelligent or unaware, okay? And they just might be 3D people and this Gemini is coming up more as, um, and it could be someone with Libra in their, in their chart as well. But just coming up more as the judge, um, like I said, that elitist mentality, it doesn't mean they're bad or negative, they just might be a little, um, uh, feeling above, you know. Um, com there's a completion here, though. On the Gemini, the Gemini may have come full circle to heal and forgive others. Let's see what comes up now for them. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What's up for the Gemini here? All right, so we have the Gemini and their sovereignty here. So the Nine of Pentacles comes up as well as that Five of Pentacles with the High Priestess reversed. So it's like. Um, Gemini is thinking the the um, Taurus next to them, right? Because we have here, and this is all about the ignorant and the unaware. So the Gemini is talking about the Taurus and whoever that is, the Taurus and their child. They may just not have known better, okay? I don't know if they're feeling sorry for them. They may be because those people are walking towards the Gemini for help. So the Gemini may want to help them, and the Gemini is in their power and their sovereignty. but they are feeling above them. Um, then we have the Cancer. Cancer is here, is the, the devil or the Capricorn. Connected to Libra and Leo at present. Codependent, could be horny, uh, horny devil with ball and chain. Okay, so there may be some codependencies or addictions going on here. Um, we have the Queen of Swords reverse coming up with the page of wands reverse so there's definitely some negative energy and actually it's coming up with the devil reverse which is detoxing so that's good but they may not be in a, such a great place in the detox um at work female out of control possibly a boss or sick mother at a facility okay so someone may feel dragged down by having to take care of a parent and you see there's a mother child there um they're both um in the reversed the mother uh, the or the Queen of Swords could come off as more verbally sharp and abusive, and then the child may be out of control more physically, may have tantrums, or just may be completely lazy and uninspired, but they're both detoxing here. So what else do we have about that? Well, let's see what comes up. We have the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups and the Ten of Cups were also coming up here, so I wanted to pull them out. Um, so obviously going through some sadness, someone going through some sadness or grief or regret for things they've done, maybe not talking. Um, and uh, this could just very well be as not talking and uninspired as well in a detox, you know, let go of the codependencies or addictions, um, feeling the sadness and grief, regret in order to end a family, or find their own emotional fulfillment. This is the cancer. But again, like I said, it could be, um, there could be a boss at work out of control, or um, a sick mother at a facility, that type of energy. Then we go to Leo of the nine of, 
Nine of Wands. So that's the Wounded Warrior for Leo. Um, guarded and trapped between Magician and Family. And the Magician could be Virgo, Gemini, or Aries even for me. Um, receiving the Hermit, but no one is to know about it. So it's behind the scenes. They may be allowing this Hermit or Virgo person to come in. Waiting for Scorpio to look their way. Presently looking looking for something or the Scorpio they're waiting for the Scorpio to look their way and the Scorpio could be presently waiting for something but the Leo doesn't know what the Queen of Swords speaks about getting over loss for this Leo so now the Queen of Swords is coming up with the with the uh, cancer before them so there may be a connection there as well So the Leo and the Cancer could be a mother-child combination. Okay, and then we have the Eight of Swords and the Three of Pentacles coming up on Leo. So they maybe feel trapped by their work situation. And I have two more cards coming up as the, um, the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles reversed. That could very much be kids. Um, one could be a good student, the other one could be more lazy about their school. I have the Ten of Pentacles wanting to come out as well, okay? So it has to do with family situation. The business and family could be all tied up together for this Leo. And the Leo is guarded, feeling trapped at work. They may not want to be in this situation anymore. Maybe there's been a falling out within the business and they're not getting along. Or if the family's tied in with the business, there could be a separation or divorce going on, but they still have to work together. Um, and maybe the kids are helping out at work as well. So the money part of it looks okay um, with the Ten of Pentacles there, but the, um, the energy is not good. Okay, and that's for Leo. The Queen of Swords speaks about getting over loss. Someone's definitely going through a loss. And they're waiting for Scorpio to look their way. Um, presently waiting for something. So it could be waiting for if they're going through a separation, or it could be their lawyer. Um, they're waiting on their Scorpio lawyer to get information to look their way or have time if they're doing them pro bono for them to help them out. Okay, and then we have Virgo here. So Virgo is coming up uh, with the Wounded Warrior and the Two of Wands reversed here. And the, here's the Virgo of the Six of, of Swords. Okay, going find, finding peace. Finding peace hiding away from a Leo and or their own ego, or this Leo is blocking or guarding uh, Libra. Um, supporting the Virgo, supporting the needy, getting over Taurus, or a commitment, finding shelter with the wounded warrior. So here comes the wounded warrior again on them. So that could be a Leo and a Virgo. Um, it's literally saying they're finding shelter with the Leo. And here it came to confirm that again, that Virgo's finding shelter with a Leo energy without option because they're feeling like a wounded warrior. The Leo feels like a wounded warrior and guarded. Coming together to come clean. Okay, the Leo and the Virgo. So that's interesting. They may feel defenseless to rejection or just vulnerability. They may feel very vulnerable and then we have, so the, Ligos, the Leo is intertwined all across here because then we have Libra as the, the strength card, which is Leo. So Libra, strong tempering of the beast between court and work, missing Virgo, who may be going away, as Scorpio is looking the other way from them, um, codependent on Leo, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn. This is coming up for Libra. Also stuck in the emotions of a confession or a message. So let's see what comes up for Libra now. It seems like the Libra, Le the, the Leo Virgo and uh, Libra are intertwined here. So Libra has, again, the strength card. So Leo is very much in their energy, um, but it's the end. There's something very much over. Um, the Leo may be allowing the swords to drop out of their back in a betrayal or an ending. And that confirms what's going on here as well, not getting along at work and maybe court issues and dealing with lawyers or whatever. Um, but the, the Libra is also coming here as then wanting to come together. Uh, coming together. And because I ended up setting it down there, it might have to do with coming together with the Leo and the Scorpio that the Leo is waiting on here. Okay. 
It says Libra. And again, they may be stuck in their emotions of a confession or a message that came out. And they're still codependent on Leo, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, which may be family members, but also could be, if it's, it has to do with work and family business, it could be people at work as well. So for Scorpio, we have the Three of Wands. Scorpio is present to present to the calm, the calmness around them. Be, between Capricorn above him and chained together and back to work, trying to only see the present moment, to enjoy the peace and quiet, thinking of a Leo and aligning with them. So the Scorpio is definitely aligned with the Leo. Um, the Queen of Pentacles came up before in a bold move or travel to hold on loosely or save someone. They're holding on. So Queen of Pentacles, where, where did she come up? She came up on the Taurus. So Taurus is attached to Scorpio then, and then Leo as well. And she's holding on. She's making a bold move where she may be traveling. Um, letting go for now to save something. Could be trying to save a relationship. But to ultimately to hold on. She could be traveling now. The Queen of Pentacles. And that could be a Taurus person. So Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo could be um, related. And then we just have... The Eight of Wands just came up, and the Five of Swords, and then the, the Children in the Garden there, the Six of Cups, and the King of Wands. All right, this is for Scorpio. So Scorpio, like, just appreciating the quiet of the moment, not expressing their feelings, um, feeling that they will get attacked if they do, could possibly be by their twin or their children um, so this could definitely be a feminine Scorpio um, feeling they'll be attacked by their twin or children um, because of um, a split situation where the king of wands is reversed and pissed at them so if the kids are with the, fa the, um, the father this could be a Scorpio female not expressing their feelings because they're worried about getting attacked because if they say something in front of their kids then the king of wands make um, you know yeah and here's the uh, the the uh, hierophant reverse so it's definitely a divorce situation here for Scorpio more likely Scorpio females there could be Capricorn energy here as well and the king of wands who may be the person they're divorcing it could be masculine masculine as well or if it's not a divorce situation, it could be breakup of an institution or work or religion. So this could be a man in that situation as well, man or woman. Um, um, but they're coming together with Libra and Leo in the divorce or the breakup situation, whether it's divorce or work or contract, whatever it is, or religion, church. There's some stuff going on there with the Scorpio. So then we have the Sagittarius. Sagittarius has the Ten of Cups, could be happy with their family right now, um, or mar or with their marriage, or, or Taurus supporting wounded warrior victims, which would be then the Leo. But the wounded warrior was also connected to, where was that? Yeah, so also Virgo. So Virgo and Leo are connected to the wounded warrior. So the Sagittarius may be supporting both of them, even if, or just Leo, um, but even if they're friends with a Virgo or a Hermit, um, Sagittarius may be, still be supporting them. Um, maybe feel, the Sagittarius may feel defeated by the justice system or by a Libra. All right, so again, Sag, this came up, uh, I forget which sign it was, but the... Um, Seven of Wands reversed and the Page of Cups reversed came up on Sagittarius. And this could very much be that family Ten of Cups reversed energy. Um, they're feeling defenseless and very vulnerable. Um, and they're involved with that court situation above them. So that's definitely, they're involved in that. And they feel defenseless. It could be the end of the family, but they're very, very much feeling overwhelmed, um, defenseless to the attacks. They're like above. So that could be 
That Nine of Cups up top could definitely be a Sagittarius, right? Defenseless to the energies, wanting to just kind of stay off to the side to themselves, feeling vulner too vulnerable, sort of keeping uh, someone else's, keeping everyone away from them. All right, and then we have the, the Knight of Swords coming up on that as well. So um, they definitely have something to say. But, um, and it looks like they're going to say it. And it may not just be in this moment because there's so much chaos going on above them in the family or business situation. But they have here the Ace of, of Swords too. There's a lot of truth coming out. Or maybe they, this could be coming toward them. So if they say what they're going to say, they may have some bigger truth shoved in their face. That's Sagittarius. So again, like I said, they could feel defeated by the justice system or a Libra. So if this Sagittarius comes out with their truth, the Libra may overwhelm them with an overlying bigger truth um, thrown back in their face. And that may be why they're feeling overwhelmed by the justice system. So then we have the um, Capricorn. Capricorn is uh, coming up with the Hierophant. Um, this may be a guide to a Virgo or a hermit and family and work, a leader, a Taurus, all, um, everyone relying on this Capricorn. Um, connected to Leo or strong Libra through work, the Capricorn. So all of these energies could be related to the Capricorn, or these signs could be within the Capricorn as well. They could have Virgo and, and Taurus and Libra all within their chart, but they could also be people all relying on them. Um, but they're focused on love through the 5D, actually. Let's see what comes up for Capricorn, who's focusing on a higher love. All right, we got... This is their higher love. They got the King of Cups, they got the Lovers, and then the Moon reversed, okay? This is for Capricorn. So very much in their unconditional love, their higher love with their twin, perhaps. And then um, the, uh, the Moon reversed, which could be, it could re relate to some deception going on in regards to that, but also could relate to um, connecting with their twin at night, you know, before the, the dawn, right, in the early morning hours. Um, we have the Ten of uh, Wands and the Three of Swords wanting to come up with them as well. Okay, so there may be a confession or letting go of all their burdens, um, expressing love rain on me, okay? The, uh, the broken heart and the separation that they felt in separation from their person. Let's see, who may they be connected to? So Capricorn is in the energy of Cancer. So maybe ca Cancer and Capricorn uh, connection. Doesn't have to be their sun signs, but a strong Capricorn and Cancer. Um, twin, could be a twin flame connection, doesn't have to be though. Um, then we're going to go on to Aquarius. So Aquarius has the Three of Pentacles here, and they got the Six of Swords reversed, and then the Page of Swords upright. And the King of Pentacles reversed, and the Ace of Cups reversed also wanted to come out with that. All right. So not great energy there for Aquarius. And, and maybe because they're looking back, I'm getting the Three of Wands here. I'm coming up right behind that. Let's see, with the Aquarius, we have the Three of Pentacles, working with strong Libra or Leo and Taurus, or with family or marriage or religious group, perfecting their craft through their financial support. So somebody else supporting the Aquarius, the Aquarius could be the creative one, um, may feel like they couldn't do it without them, connected to Taurus and Pisces for work, and may feel that Leo is ignorant or unaware and being strong now that the secret is out, the Aquarius. So obviously there's no love loss here between this Aquarius and a Leo, the Leo who's all mixed up in all that crap over there in the fam work family business. Um, and the Aquarius is stuck in their emotions, um, possibly because news is out or pe you know immature people, even children may have been talking about things they shouldn't be talking about 
I'm getting the Queen of uh, Swords coming up here. So this could be that Leo. Okay. The Leo that this person's also going to come together with. Maybe connected to the Aquarius as well. Aquarius could be a child or could be that King of Pentacles reverse. There's no love loss there between them and a Leo. Um, yeah, this Queen of Wands says King of Pentacles reversed. Aquarius does not like her. Or she could be... She could be the one with Leo and Aquarius in her, so she could be at war with herself as well. There's definitely some uh, um, message or news or immature communication, keeping the Aquarius stuck in their emotions. Um, that uh, page of swords could be dumped or dumping uh, the king of pentacles reversed, who could feel dumped or just overwhelmed or could be crying in a purge or actually that could be vomiting, you know, if they're sick. So, I have to tell you too, when I was on the, when I was flying one time, not this recent flight, but when I was flying, the Ace of Cups came up when I had to go to the bathroom. So that could just be as simple as having to go pee <laughs> or somebody who needs uh, to get rid of fluids. So it could be if you have chest fluid as well. Sorry about that. Um... All right, so that's Aquarius. Again, they're not, they're probably the most negative of the energies that I've picked up so far here. Well, actually, Cancer has some negative energy there, but they're detoxing, so it's not actually as bad. And Aries isn't, isn't in such a great place either. Um, the Aries and the Aquarius could be related. Then we have um, Pisces. Pisces has the Eight of Pentacles here. Aligning, working on details and cracking codes, perfecting creation, working in private, being present, missing a Scorpio person who may have just left, uh, connected to Leo and Libra through work, as well as Taurus and Aquarius, Pisces minding their own business about Aquarius kicking a Taurus out or sending them packing. So here Aquarius is coming up with a Taurus and that queen of, so the Aquarius could be the Queen of Wands kicking the King of Pentacles reverse Taurus out or vice versa. The Queen of Wands could have the Taurus in her chart and he's kicking her out. So vice versa. Also what I got with Pisces is the Messenger of Truth. So they're relating to, that came up for um, Sagittarius. So something between the Pisces and the Sagittarius. Messenger of Truth and Patient. And word comes in quickly without waiting. So that was with Pisces. So Pisces could be in the chart of the Sagittarius or Sagittarius. Remember I said Sagittarius what may be too quick to react and they say they may have Pisces in them as well because the Libra may can't come back at them. So the Sag Aquarius, I mean the Sag Pisces could also have some Taurus in them as well. So that could be this person as well, this Pisces. She could have Pisces in her chart too. But the Pisces is minding their own business about Aquarius kicking Taurus out or sending them packing. So it could be someone separate as well. And I'm getting the um, Eight of Cups reversed for Pisces. And then I'm getting the three of, of wands reversed for Pisces. So that's both sitting in very uncomfortable emotions. So they're trying to mind their own business of this. But at the same time, looking back or going back at the situation, but trying not to get involved with it. Um, let's see what else comes up for Pisces. All right, so Pisces also comes up with Justice Reversed and then the Nine of Swords upright. All right, so there may have been some injustice for Pisces. They may be purging and they may be involved with, it could be Libra or it could also be um, Gemini since they had the, uh, the uh, Justice card come up in their space. So it could be dealing with a Libra or a Gemini, this Pisces, but in the reverse, they're unfair causing them to purge or cry or be stressed out, um, could be a court case. And so they're trying to stay out of uh, the other stuff at work so they don't get involved um, and don't have any more issues dumped on them.
Yeah, and this could have to do with the divorce as well because we have the Hierophant reversed here. So the Pisces may be involved with that. Um, could be break from, it could be a divorce, it could be a court case regarding a religious leader. Um, but there's a lot of tears and stress about this, uncomfortable feelings. Uh, and it could be between with involved with the King of Wands reversed as well. So this, again, could be the Queen of Wands versus the King of Wands here. And the Pisces could be in one of their charts or a separate um, third person who has to be a witness in the case. And so they're trying to stay away from both of them as not to get, you know, uh, tainted information. Or maybe they're on, they have a gag order because they're a witness. And then we have the Knight of Wands mm -hmm. and, the hang, and the Hangman upright to so somebody rushing in uh, there could be a hung jury to give the news that there's hung jury or may want to need to take action because someone's in limbo or in a hung jury situation so they may be um, maybe a secret witness that, that the courts are keeping aside so that when they need them they can rush in and get them very interesting and then uh, I'll just pull these last cards, the, uh, the Sun and the um, Seven of Cups for Pisces. So there could be some good news, happiness that comes out, some full exposure um, about radiation, or it could just be someone seeing some synchronicities and getting a message that explains everything. So everything becomes clear all of a sudden with that message running in about seeing a new perspective and a wise perspective and now seeing everything clearly. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. All right, so that's definitely coming in here. And then we have the world, so completion. So this may be, get all, this is all wrapped up here. And I love that that comes in on Pisces. So then I also had pulled card, four cards came out to as the culmination of the read and you're gonna love this for this is for all signs we had the page of Pentacles here I'll put them on top so you can see them and then came out the six of cups so that's like the twins it can be children as well okay but this is like an opportunity or student of the gold coin of the collective consciousness and the twins but it can relate to children as well but then we have the lovers next to it so this is definitely energy of the twins here and the collective consciousness, the students of the collective consciousness, and then the Ace of Cups being offered to them. All right, so it's a beautiful, beautiful ending here. Um, and then the bottom of the clarification deck came up with the, uh, the Eight of Pentacles, which was on the Pisces card, which is which culminated, so that's good. Um, and then, so these, these were the cards at the bottom of the clarification deck. I always use them for underlying energies. So this would be like underlying before the read. And here we have, um, you know, a downturn in luck or circumstances. But then we have the star and then the ace of wands and then this aligning and cracking codes. So it's definitely shining your light, a new passion, and diligently working on aligning your energies, saving money, getting your books all together, and also just cracking codes and doing creative work working on the details of your craft. So that's beautiful. All right, I guess I should get going before it's too, too long. It's 33 and 55. All right, you guys, rise and be loved. Bye.